In the second module, we talked about your campaign message, how to develop a catchy slogan, how to develop and tell your story, communicate your values, define the election on an important issue, and why you need to know all you can about your opponent. The next three modules are devoted to communicating your message. In modules four and five, I'll be spending a lot of time on the forms of advertising your message, television, radio, mail, telephones, internet ads, newspapers, volunteers, and yard signs. In Module 3, we'll talk about you, the candidate. It is worth every minute I will devote to it because of one simple reason. You will make or break your campaign, and you have to be right or everything else will be wrong. You are the campaign's greatest asset, the main source of news and inspiration, the most important communicator of your message. You are the message. The words that come out of your mouth in television, radio, or newspaper interviews or on the receiving end of a telephone call is the difference between attracting votes or repelling them. The words that roll off your fingers in social media or on your website or in your persuasion mail is the difference between winning votes or losing them. The way you look, act, sound and the words that roll off your lips is the difference between inspiring the volunteers and contributors you'll need to advance your cause or coming up short. Since it is my own view that candidates usually make or break their own campaign, I am devoting this entire module to making sure that you are always at the top of your game and on message. This module has six lessons. All are designed to help you master the art of candidate communication. In lesson one, we'll talk about you, how you look, dress, sound, your posture, demeanor, your health, and what you need to do to ensure that people want to meet you, talk to you, and listen to what you have to say. I'll have some tips on all of those. In lesson two, We'll talk about how you plan and execute your formal announcement, the pre-speech rollout, making the reporter's job easy so that you get great coverage and attract volunteers. In lesson three, we'll cover how to develop your earned media plan. I'll tell you about time-honored ways to stay in the news once you have made your formal announcement, ways to make news that reporters want to cover, and how to do it in a way that attracts volunteers and generates nice attention for your cause. In lesson four, we'll discuss the art of doing interviews with print reporters, how to prepare for them, how to handle things in your past that might be a problem in your campaign. I'll also share some tips on how to steer print interviews to matters that you want to discuss rather than letting a reporter lead you around by the nose. In Lesson 5, we'll be discussing radio and television interviews, how to ensure that you are at the top of your game before you walk into a studio, how to stay on message, look and sound well-informed, and control your body language so that it never gets in the way of your campaign message. In Lesson 6, we'll talk about debates. Yes, they can and often do decide elections, and there is a science to preparing for them so that you shine on stage and show up with a strategy that leaves your opponents playing defense while you score points. As you watch the lessons, you are free to send me any questions you have. I'll do my best to give you a quick answer. Let's get started. I'll see you in Lesson 1.